Welcome to the video that talks about Hilbert spaces. Hilbert spaces are a generalization of Euclidean spaces, which allow us to apply the methods of linear algebra and calculus to spaces of arbitrary dimension, even infinite. Hilbert spaces are very useful in mathematics and physics, especially in the study of differential equations, quantum mechanics, Fourier analyses, and regative theory. In this video, you will learn what a Hilbert space is, how an inner product and a norm are defined on it, what geometric properties it has, and how Hilbert spaces can be used to solve interesting and complex problems. You will also see some concrete examples of Hilbert spaces, such as the space of integrable square functions, the space of sequences, subelect spaces, and Hardy spaces. We hope you enjoy this video and that it will help you expand your knowledge of this fascinating branch of functional analysis. Hilbert spaces are a very important and useful concept in mathematics and physics. They are a generalization of the familiar Euclidean spaces, where we can use geometry, algebra, and calculus to study vectors, angles, distances, and functions. Hilbert spaces allow us to extend these methods to spaces that may have infinitely many dimensions, such as spaces of functions or sequences. To define a Hilbert space, we need two ingredients, a vector space and an inner product. A vector space is a set of objects, called vectors, that can be added and scaled by numbers, called scalars. For example, the set of all real numbers is a vector space, where the vectors are just numbers and the scalars are also numbers. The set of all ordered pairs of real numbers, denoted by R2, is another vector space, where the vectors are, x, y, and the scalars are numbers. We can visualize R2 as a plane with two axes. An inner product is a way of measuring the angle and length of vectors in a vector space. It is a function that takes two vectors and returns a scalar, denoted by x, y. For example, in R2, we can define the inner product as x1, y1, x2, y2, equals x1, x2 plus y1, y2. This is also called the dot product or the scalar product. The inner product has some properties that make it useful for geometry. It is symmetric. x, y equals y, x for any vectors x and y. It is linear in the first argument x1 plus bx2, y equals x1, y plus bx2, y for any scalars and bn vectors x1, x2, and y. It is positive definite. x, x more than 0 for any vector x, and at x, x equals 0 if and only if x is the 0 vector. Using the inner product, we can define the length or norm of the vector x as x equals x, x. We can also define the angle between two vectors x and y cos equals x, y slash, x, y, what is between 0 and. The inner product also satisfies the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. x, y, x, y for any vectors x and y Hilbert space is a vector space with an inner product that is complete. This means that any sequence of vectors that gets closer and closer together has a limit that is also a vector in this space. For example, R2 with the dot product is a Hilbert space, because any sequence of points in the plane that converges has a limit point in the plane. However, not every vector space with an inner product is a Hilbert space. For example, the set of all continuous functions on the interval 0, 1, with the inner product f, g equals f, x, g, x, dx from 0 to 1 is not a Hilbert space, because there are sequences of continuous functions that converge to discontinuous functions. Hilbert spaces have many properties that make them similar to Euclidean spaces. For example, they have an orthonormal basis, a set of vectors that are mutually perpendicular, orthogonal, and of unit length, normal, such that any vector in this space can be written as a linear combination of them. They satisfy the Pythagorean theorem. If x and y are orthogonal vectors in a Hilbert space, then x plus y, 2 equals x, 2 plus y, 2. They satisfy the parallelogram law. If x and y are any vectors in a Hilbert space, then x plus y, 2 plus x, y, 2 equals 2, x, 2 plus y, 2. They have orthogonal projections. For any subspace S of a Hilbert space H, there is a unique linear map P from H to S such that P, x, is the closest point to x and S for any x and H Hilbert spaces are very useful for studying various kinds of functions, such as square and gravel functions, Fourier series, wavels, holomorphic functions, etc. They are also essential for formulating quantum mechanics, where physical states are represented by vectors in a Hilbert space and physical observables are represented by linear operators on the Hilbert space. Hilbert spaces are used in quantum mechanics to describe the state of the quantum system, such as an electron, a photon, or a molecule. A quantum state is a vector in a Hilbert space that contains all the information about the possible outcomes of measurements on a system. 
For example, if we measure the spin of an electron along some direction, we can get either plus one half or minus one half as the result. The quantum state tells us the probabilities of these outcomes. The Hilbert space of a quantum system depends on the physical properties of the system, such as its energy, momentum, angular momentum, position, etc. For example, the Hilbert space of a spin half particle, such as an electron, is two-dimensional, and can be represented by a qubit. The Hilbert space of a photon, a particle of light, is also two-dimensional, and can be represented by its polarization. The Hilbert space of a particle in a box, a simple model of an atom, is infinite dimensional, and can be represented by its energy levels. One of the main features of quantum mechanics is that quantum states can exist in superpositions of other states. This means that a quantum state can be written as a linear combination of other states in the Hilbert space, with complex coefficients that determine the probabilities of each state. For example, an electron can be in a superposition of spin up and spin down along some direction, which means that it has some probability to be measured as spin up and some probability to be measured as spin down. Another feature of quantum mechanics is that quantum states can change over time according to the Schrodinger equation, which is a differential equation that describes how the state vector evolves in the Hilbert space. The Schrodinger equation depends on the Hamiltonian operator, which represents the total energy of the system. The Hamiltonian operator can also be used to calculate other physical quantities, such as the expectation value or the variance of an observable. Quantum mechanics also involves the concept of measurement, which is a process that collapses the state vector to one of the possible outcomes, according to the Born rule. The Born rule states that the probability of obtaining a certain outcome is equal to the square of the absolute value of the inner product between the state vector and the corresponding basis vector in the Hilbert space. For example, if we measure the spin of an electron along the z-axis, and the state vector is g equals 0.6 j0i plus 0.8 j1i, then the probability of getting spin up, one half, is 0, 2 equals 0.36, and the probability of getting spin down, one half, is 1, 2 equals 0.64. Hilbert spaces are very useful for studying various kinds of quantum systems and phenomena, such as entanglement, interference, to coherence, tunneling, etc. They are also essential for formulating quantum information theory and quantum computation, which explore how to manipulate and process quantum states using quantum devices. Hilbert spaces are used in quantum computing to represent and manipulate quantum information, such as qubits, quantum gates, quantum algorithms, and quantum error correction. A qubit is a unit of quantum information that can exist in a superposition of two classical states, denoted by J0 and J1i. A qubit can be realized by a physical system that has two distinguishable quantum states, such as the spin of an electron, the polarization of a photon, or the energy level of an atom. A qubit is described by a vector in a two-dimensional complex Hilbert space, where the basis vectors are J0 and J1i. The state of a qubit can be written as G equals J0i plus J1i, where under complex numbers that satisfy 2 plus 2 equals 1. The coefficients and determine the probabilities of measuring the qubit in the state J0 and J1i, respectively. A quantum gate is a unitary transformation that acts on one or more qubits and changes their states. A unitary transformation is a linear operator that preserves the inner product and the normal vectors in a Hilbert space. A quantum gate can be represented by a unitary matrix that operates on the state vectors of the qubits. For example, the Hadamard gate is a quantum gate that acts on a single qubit and creates an equal superposition of J0 and J1i. It can be represented by the matrix $$H equals frac 1 sqrt2 begin bmatrix1 and 1, 1 and minus 1 and bmatrix $$. The action of the Hadamard gate on a qubit G equals J0i plus J1i is given by $$G equals frac 1 sqrt2 begin bmatrix1 and 1, 1 and minus 1 and bmatrix begin bmatrix and bmatrix equals frac 1 sqrt2 begin bmatrix plus and bmatrix i x equals frac plus sqrt to j0 i plus frac sqrt to j1 i have quantum gates that performs a certain computational task on a set of input qubits and produces a set of output qubits. A quantum algorithm can exploit quantum phenomena such as superposition, interference, entanglement, and measurement to achieve speed up or efficiency over classical algorithms. For example, Scheer's algorithm is a quantum algorithm that can factor large numbers in polynomial time, whereas the best-known classical algorithm takes exponential time. 
She Er's algorithm uses a quantum Fourier transform, which is a unitary transformation that maps a basis state Xer to a superposition of basis states with amplitudes proportional to the discrete Fourier transform with X. A quantum error correction is a technique that protects quantum information from noise and coherence, which are processes that cause errors in the state of cool bits. Quantum error correction uses redundancy and encoding to detect and correct errors without disturbing the quantum information. For example, the 3 qubit bit flip code is a quantum error correction scheme that encodes one logical qubit into three physical qubits using the following mapping. Dollars dollars J0 LI equals J000 IJ1 LI equals J111 I dollars dollars the 3 qubit bit flip code can correct any single bit flip error, such as J0 IJ1 I or J1 IJ0 I, by applying a majority vote among the three physical qubits. Hilbert spaces are a very important and useful concept in mathematics and physics. They are a generalization of the familiar Euclidean spaces, where we can use geometry, algebra, and calculus to study vectors, angles, distances, and functions. Hilbert spaces allow us to extend these methods to spaces that may have infinitely many dimensions, such as spaces of functions or sequences. The origin of Hilbert spaces can be traced back to the beginning of the 20th century, when mathematicians and physicists were faced with new challenges and problems that required new tools and concepts. Some of the main motivations for the development of Hilbert spaces were the theory of linear integral equations, which arose from the studied boundary value problems for partial differential equations, such as the heat equation, the wave equation, and the potential equation. These equations describe many physical phenomena, such as heat transfer, sound propagation, and electrostatics. To solve these equations, mathematicians such as Vido Volterra, Eva Fretolm, Erhard Schmidt, and David Hilbert introduced the idea of expanding functions in terms of orthogonal systems of functions, such as trigonometric functions, Lagrangian polynomials, Bessel functions, etc. These systems of functions formed the basis of infinite dimensional vector spaces, where the inner product was defined by an integral. Hilbert was the first to realize that these spaces had a metric structure induced by the inner product, and that they were complete with respect to this metric. He also proved several fundamental results about these spaces, such as the existence and uniqueness of solutions to linear integral equations, the Riesz representation theorem, and the spectral theorem for compact operators 12. The theory of Fourier series and Fourier analyses, which is a powerful tool for studying periodic functions and harmonic analyses. The Fourier series of the function is an infinite sum of trigonometric functions that approximates the function on a given interval. The coefficients of the Fourier series are determined by the inner product of the function with the trigonometric functions. The convergence and properties of Fourier series were studied by mathematicians such as Joseph Fourier, Peter Doriclet, Bernhard Riemann, Georg Cantor, Henry Lebesgue, and Norbert Wiener. They discovered that not every function can be represented by a Fourier series, and that some conditions on the function are needed for the convergence and uniqueness of the series. They also introduced new concepts such as pointwise convergence, uniform convergence, absolute convergence, mean square convergence, Lebesgue measure, Lebesgue integral, etc. These concepts led to the definition of Lebesgue spaces, LP spaces, which are special cases of Hilbert spaces where P equals 2. LP spaces are also examples of Banach spaces, which are more general vector spaces with a norm but not necessarily an inner product 34. The theory of quantum mechanics, which is a fundamental framework for describing the behavior of matter and energy at the atomic and subatomic scales. Quantum mechanics was developed in the first half of the 20th century by physicists such as Max Planck, Albert Einstein, Niels Bohr, Werner Heisenberg, Erwin Schrödinger, Paul Dirac, John von Neumann, etc. They discovered that classical mechanics and electromagnetism were not adequate to explain phenomena such as black body radiation, photoelectric effect, atomic spectra, uncertainty principle, weight particle duality, etc. They proposed new principles and equations that described the state of the quantum system as a vector in a Hilbert space, called a wave function or a state vector, and the physical observables as linear operators on this space, called observables or Hermitian operators. Quantum mechanics also involves the concept of measurement, which is a process that collapses goodbye, 